Now, it's about that time we get some professional advice from our careers expert from Bates.com. I'm going to pop over to join Marwan and Rasha Samam. That's right, and Rush is going to be giving us tips today on a very ominous subject, which is when to know when it's time to quit. Well, first of all, welcome to the show, Russia. Thank you. Now, that's not a very pleasant topic, but I'm sure a lot of people in their career lives have experienced a time where they're just not sure mm -hmm. if they should quit the job or hang on. So tell us, what are the key signs that, tell, that would tell us, you know what, time to leave? Yeah. I don't like quit. Quit is such a, like, a negative word. Maybe it better is like to say, time like, to move when on. is time to move on? Yeah. You can quit or change your mm -hmm. job. Oh, that's yeah. right. So, um, there are many signs that actually uh, make you feel that it's time to quit or change the, your job, maybe in the same organization. Mm -hmm. This could be an option as well. So the most important thing is to be always excited and always interested about your job and you, you know that you like what you're doing. Mm -hmm. If you feel that uh, you're, not, uh, you're not okay with what you're going through in your job, and that's what we're gonna discuss later, the few uh, signs, then it's time for you to think, okay, maybe I might quit or, as we said, change your job in the same organization. First of all, maybe it's about the stress. We all get stressed at our jobs. All it's the time, normal, yes, course. it's normal, it happens. But m sometimes it goes off limit. It goes, it exceeds the, the, the normal levels of stress. Uh, you're in the weekends thinking of your job, you're with your family, with your, with your friends. Uh, at night you can't sleep thinking of what you have to do tomorrow. This kind of stress will surely, surely impair your physical uh, health, be it mental or uh, your health, be it mental or physical. I always say health is extremely important. The last thing you can do is affect your health over a job. But uh, what, are there, what are the symptoms? What if you're just not, say, what if your demands at the job are unrealistic? Is that a good sign for you to leave and move on? It might be. It might be. You might feel at some point that you're being taken for granted, for example. You're having a lot of on your, on your plate that you can't handle anymore. Uh, you think your boss uh, is not aware of what you're going through. He's just giving, he or she, is just giving you more and more and more tasks and responsibilities and you just can't handle it. And at the end, it might be your fault because you're not communicating this to your manager well. You're not telling him or her that, please wait, hold on, I can't take this anymore. Let's split the work, let's, uh, let's find someone else, let's hire someone else to, to divide the activities and the responsibilities that I'm taking. So. The most important thing that we uh, advise is to always communicate whatever problem you're facing with your manager because mm -hmm. it might not lead to your quitting your job, it might lead to even more Maybe better conditions. It. I think with this, the scary thing, and a lot of people probably are afraid to tell their managers that there's too much work because they don't want to feel like they're not competent enough, right? Um, what other signs would yeah, you Yeah, uh, other signs us? is you might think, you might feel that you're not being treated fairly. How? Mm -hmm. You might be asking for promotions constantly and not getting it. You might be asking for salaries and not getting it. You remember that we, yeah, we have. We spoke about it before, yeah, yeah, we spoke <laughs> about it earlier. Uh, so, and you, you might see others in the organization getting promoted, being developed, growing, and you're not. Again, this might be a very good reason for you to quit, but communicate it to your manager first. Why? Because your manager might have big plans for you in the future that you might not be aware of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you tell him or her that you're being, you think you're being treated unfairly, he might or she might tell you that, wait a minute, if you wait just a bit, you, you are having a big plan for with us in the organization. Yeah. I mean, I have one final question is what if, you know, what about having the wrong uh, judgment about quitting, you know, where you think you know you want to quit, but you know you shouldn't, that's obviously a big thing, right? Yeah, yeah that's, that's why you should always communicate it with your manager and your peers and whoever consultants you can you can mm. see consultancies from anyone in the organization before you take this decision because your decisions might be based on probably uh, maybe temporary feelings yeah. or just or other, impulsive, other right? colleagues at work encouraging you to quit. Are you looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> Are you? <laughs> I don't no. know what he's talking about. We're, well Russia that's uh, very insightful tips. I know a lot of people always question whether they should move on mm -hmm. because of uh, one or more of those symptoms, yes. as a matter of fact. But yep. thanks for giving us a couple of pointers on how to deal with that situation. Thanks to you. Thank you for joining us.